Hey boys, welcome back to How Far With The Star. Anthony Milford here, game 13 of the streak, and we're playing State of Origin game 2. Um, I'm actually, <laughs> I'm glad I'm actually looking at the, uh, the results here. So, we have, we have won the series, which is, which is nice. A, uh, a thrilling 1-0, I'm pretty sure it was 1-0, I was looking at it correctly. <laughs> and then the other, last game was, uh, very tight as well, so, it's been, a uh, it's been a bit of a nervy period, bit of a nervous period, this uh, this Origin time. They've been very close games, very very tough games. They've they've honestly been the the most risky of losing, and I guess that is warranted uh, because looking at the looking at both sides, you know they're both they're both very good. Probably I'm trying to <laughs> see the lineups here, but uh, you know I don't know. I might say. The uh, New South Wales side is maybe better. I don't know. It, it's hard. Our backline. I say both backlines aren't the aren't the greatest. They're a little a little strange. Um, we have John Folau and Edric Lee, um, and uh, we're missing quite a few big names. But maybe injuries. Not too sure. Uh, but still, you know, a strong side. New South Wales have a strong side. So hopefully the streak can t continue. We can get a whitewash here. As I'm running out to the crowd, this is, this is probably, this is a really cool, I do like that opening scene. It's, it's one of the coolest in the game. You know, obviously, there's not really many cutscene type things in the game, which I actually like. I mean, I know a lot of people love, like, FIFA and, uh, and Madden. Probably Madden is more so for that sort of stuff, like the cutscenes and all this stuff, showing plays and coaches and stuff. But honestly, I really, I don't really want that in rugby league games. I don't want that sort of stuff because I just like playing the game. Um, you know, running out for big games, it's cool getting some sort of special thing like that, and it, it looks really good. It actually showcases how how uh, how good the game looks. Like the crowd looks pretty nice, and just the player detail. Um, but I don't I don't want like next regular league games to have the cutscenes. I know people ask for that all the time, but I'm just I'm just not a fan. Like I I take it back to like real life, you know, if I'm watching a game on TV, I don't want the fucking, I don't like different camera angles, I don't like fucking, um, all this other nonsense, but right here, Jared Croker, we try to shut it down, there was a massive hole, I try to race across, he, uh, he beat us, and then Greg Inglis, he came across, he, uh, I mean, he made the tackle, and then for some reason, just Jared Croker, he, he just breaks three, and scores the opening try, which is, which is pretty frustrating, but, you know, we're going to have to play from behind and hopefully claw our way back. But, yeah, watching the game on TV, I don't like camera angles. Or, you know, all this stupid, um, what's it called, spider cam nonsense and looking at players on the bench and on the fucking bikes and looking at coaches. So, if I'm playing a game, I don't know why, I don't know why people want that in the game. Like, I don't see how it adds to, like, any sort of immersion. It just, uh, it's just saying that I'd always skip, but... It's whatever. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's a nothing points. It's a good little kick goes up here. Greg Inglis, the target man, a good play to kick to, but it's a changeover. We get tackled, held up over the line. It was a uh, good, well, not even over the line, just a couple of meters out. But it was good. A uh, good scramble by the Blues. They've uh, this first half. It's uh, it's been pretty back and forth. I thought we potentially should have had the the equalizer there, but not to be. Like I said, the New South Wales boys. Defended very well. That's a beautiful ball to, uh, who was that? Papali, maybe? But, uh, we back up on the inside. Get it to Inglis. I thought it was a, I thought it was a certain try, but he just sort of had no momentum and was able to be tackled there by Josh Dugan as Thurston here puts in a, a nice little grubber, actually, and it's going to force a repeat set with us chasing through. So, a, uh, perfect start to the second half, forcing the pressure and looking to, uh, to attack as we cut it back on the inside. Uh, who was that? Maybe O'Neill. I think it was O'Neill. He overrun the play. I wanted to pass it back to him, but uh, we got it back to Smith on the on the inside as we punted across field here. Um, and it's not it's not the best kick. Adam Reynolds here takes the ball, and the Blues survive another onslaught there. We've uh, we've been applying the pressure, but we just can't we just can't get that knockout blow. As the last play, we put up a nice kick that is perfectly placed, but Edric Lee just fucking. <laughs> Misses the line completely. Should have had a good little uh, contest for it, but was uh, was nowhere to be seen. As uh, the Blues get a chance to actually potentially 
put this game to bed. Less than 10 minutes to go, they get a, an attacking kick here. Adam Reynolds puts out the bomb. It's a good kick too. I think it might have hit the... I think that might have hit the, the upright. It sort of took a little deflection, I think, and they got the line dropout because it did hit the ground before the fullback uh, took the took the catch. So, four tackle here. This is a big moment. And uh, on to Paul Kellen. Do not let him score. Last tackle. We just need to defend and then hopefully can pull a bit of a miracle out. It's another bomb. We try to charge down. But uh, who is this under it? He gets the bat down. A beautiful little play. Blake Ferguson is going to score. You know, got to take it off. Got to take the hats off to the to the Blues here. It was a good little play. Put it up for Daniel Tupo, the uh, you know man you want to kick to, and just a uh, beautiful little bat down. You don't see the AI do that too much, but it's very effective, and that pretty much wraps the game up. There's uh, there's really no no chance for us to score two tries in uh, in a couple of minutes, and as you see, two minutes left. We don't have the ball. That is going to be the ball game. Our streak has finished. And it's funny because the last game I uploaded, people were really on, like, the Milford train. They thought I was never going to lose. Like, I saw, like, a lot of comments from people thinking, or, no, you know, maybe not specifically think I'll never lose, but just uh, that we'd continue for a while and we lose the next game. So we do win the series. We do finish on a good note, but we lose 12-0. It was a good game. It was a pretty decent game. Um, but obviously, we need to pick another player. And I have already chosen who I'm going to be picking. It's a, it is a forward, so that's all I'll give you guys. I'll keep it a little bit of surprise. You can probably have a good idea who it is, but hopefully, you guys enjoyed this Milford streak here. 13 games, a uh, pretty decent effort. But uh, I'll see you guys next time.